Oh, hello viewers, it's, it's me again, the fake crystal set maker. You know, I was talking to you sort of, well, like earlier, about my sort of experiences in the old, uh, you know, the old gramophone business. And I thought, you know, I really ought to sort of uh, set down my old, uh, my old memories and uh, memoirs and, and the like, sort of, like sort of stuff, right, yeah? And yeah, for for the posterity, you know, uh, as because there ain't much, many people like me about nowadays, you know, for some sort of uh, bloody reason. Don't know why that is. They're probably all dead. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, I'd, I was up at the old uh, Warwick, uh, the old uh, fair there, the old, and I had this bleeding old cabinet gramophone. Blimey, what a load of old tap. It was ever so cheap, so I couldn't turn it down, really. I thought, I'll bleed and bait it over, and he'll give me a 20 quid for it, something like that. In the end, anyway, I was standing there, minding my own bleeding business. This bleeding, good-looking woman comes up, and I thought, oh, hello, hello, you know. Yeah, viewers, I thought, I'm in here. I am. You know, she came up, she's about 30. Lovely figure, lovely looking woman. Good dress sense, you know. Looks a bit like that old, you know, that bleeding woman off the telly, the old Lawson, not Nigel. Nigel Lawson. Yeah, looks a bit like her. Anyway, does a bit of the old cookie with the old flake in her gob, you know. <laughs> and uh, I thought, oh, hello. And she said, oh, can you tell me something about this old, the old gramophone here? I said, well, it's a sort of like, well, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a grapho, graphogram thing. You know, that sort of thing. It's, you know, you play the old records on it. She said, uh, what, sort of LPs? I said, no, nah, not LPs, sort of the old 78s. You know, plenty of them around here, the old old duffers and that. they got them, haven't they? Plenty of them around. Look nice in your house, lady, as I would in your old, in your old bed there. <laughs> One of my jokes there, viewers, it works every time. It really does. And she was interested. I could tell, you can tell, can't I? I've been around a bit. And she wanted to stroke my ump for luck. I thought, yeah, luck for me there. Oh, bleed now, yeah. You get the old flake there, missus. I'll show you where to stick it. Oh, my goodness, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, I sort of think. Anyway, like, uh, I sort of had this machine and uh, had 80 quid on it. And I said to her, oh, you have it for 50 quid. And she said, does it bleed in work? I said, well, of course it bleeds and bleed in work. How much, what do you want it for? You sort of, I'm expert. Anyway, it was this bloke, dark-haired bloke, tall blokes hanging about. I thought, who that bleeding nails out? I've seen him before. I thought, well, where have I seen him? Oh, I can't remember. But I thought he might want his bleeding money back, so I'd better not ask him. So anyway, he, he buggered off, and I thought, yeah, I'm in here, I'm in here. And it, I said, she walked off. I said, 15 quid for it. And she walked off, she said, if it don't work, I don't want it. Blimey, you can't win cut sometimes, can you, bloody customers? I had to go and readjust my dress, viewers. Funny, really. Keep them peeled.